Well then, you've made your choice. Are you happy with how it turned out? Is this how you wanted the future to be? Where am I? All this time, you've been repeating the same aimless actions. All to keep the world this way. And yourself. <sighs> Once more today, you've lost the one you cherished most. Are you sad? If you could, would you try again? Or would you rather linger in the endless now? Look at this! We finally managed to activate the Ouroboros stone! Noah! 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 Three more months. That's all we need. Look at this! We finally managed to activate the Ouroboros Stone! Noah! 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 Three more months. That's all we need. Look at this! We finally managed to activate the Ouroboros Stone! Noah! 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 Three more months. That's all we need. Look at this! We finally managed to activate the Ouroboros Stone! Noah! 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 Three more months. That's all we need. Look at this! Noah! 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 Look at this! We finally managed to activate the Ouroboros Stone! Though we don't understand it fully, some functions may still remain hidden. But still, even in its current state, the power it's releasing is more than enough. With this in hand, we can fulfill the wish entrusted to us by the Queen. You mean, take back the world from Mobius? Yes, definitely. Three more months. That's all we need. Mio. So impotent. Did you really think you could stem the tide with the paltry power that you possess? <laughs> oh, you who floats in the currents, you must yield, abandon all you are. Morning. 
You really should have dozed a while longer. Oh. Good morning. Wanna eat? Wait, I forgot you don't like to eat right after waking. No, I'll have some. Tomorrow's the day, the final battle against Mobius. We've come a long way to get here. Now it'll finally be over. <sighs> it's fine. I've got three whole days. Three days is plenty. I'm sure we'll be golden. Oh, you who floats in the currents. You must yield. Did I not tell you? Yield what? How many times has it been now? Leo. Please, no. I can't. The world. I wanted to change it. For whose sake? I did it for her. But you... ran away. We trusted you. We followed you for all this time. <sighs> Noah, how could you betray us like this? You just get out of the end of us? You have the old wall up so now. What is causing this to We trusted you. We followed you for all this time. Noah! Are you sure it wasn't for yourself? No. This isn't me. You only cared about yourself. No. I was... I didn't... But with time, you changed. Your call. You're good at naming, aren't you? You'll lead the way to a new world. A new way of life.
<laughs> Our hopes and dreams made into a little... Strong lungs on that one. Heard him all the way outside. He looks just like Daddy. I would have said Mummy. <laughs> Our hopes and dreams made into a little person. You'll lead the way to a new world. A new way of life. What about his name? I don't think we ever agreed on one. <laughs> it's your call. You're good at naming, aren't you? Uh, n no. I don't think that's a good idea. It's probably best if I don't. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Right, I'll do it. Okay? Here's what we'll call him then. will be kinder to you. Mio. Daddy will have to go soon. All right? But you know, your daddy's and mummy's love, our life, will always be within you. You'll never be alone. Things will get tough. You'll be hurt. You have a whole host of things to go through. A 
as you head into the future. A time might come when you'll be on the verge of giving up. But you have to keep going. Make friends. Keep them close to you, always. That's what Daddy and Mummy did. <laughs> We're with you, now and forever. Why? Why am I crying? Why do I look like that? That's another you. That's how he was. Another me? You from the past. Me from the past? And then, you made your choice. There are two roads set before every individual. Have you wished the now would last forever? Have you never prayed that time would simply stop? There are two roads. There are two roads set before every individual. The left, the right. What lies down the road you choose? Is it hope or despair? It repeats and repeats as you make countless endless choices. You too, like everyone, have been making them all along. If the results satisfy, that is well and good. But if they do not satisfy, what then? Will you weep, battered by grief? Or howl, seething with rage? Have you never prayed that time would simply stop? Have you wished the now would last forever? Your two lives thriving and persisting far beyond homecoming, 
surpassing the system of the world. I was fascinated, even beguiled by you. My name is Zed, the ruler of this world. I shall grant your desire. So you have chosen then. The endless now. And so, you became Mobius. So that, you could live an eternal now together. Is this still your wish? Do you want to ask one more time, for time to stop? <laughs> Why is it that you are here? Why did you split from your other self? Why is it that you exist? I thought I wanted to know. Know what? I became an Offseer because I wanted to know the meaning behind the smile. Tell me. I had a friend, as important to me as, as Lance and Uni or Yoren. Noah, will you keep moving? What? Me, I'm good here. Chris, what do you mean, you're good? Thank you. Chris, I wondered why he smiled back then. And not just him, Joran too. I wanted to know why. That's why. Why he continued as an officer. For the longest time, I thought they pitied those of us left behind. Sucks to be you. Sorry, guys. I'm checking out early. It'll be tough, but keep your chins up. I figured that's what the smile said. But now, 
Neo too was smiling. I think I get it now. The meaning behind the smile. I think they were all content with the way it ended. Like they were putting us in charge of the future. Telling us to make a world where everyone can smile. But it just breaks my heart that that was the only smile they could choose. And it really shouldn't have been. The world we have now, it doesn't give us the choice to smile. If the world won't let us choose outside these narrow bounds, I want nothing more than to rip this world apart. I want to repay those smiles. That's why I'm here. And you won't choose the same path as your other? Who can tell? I may end up doing that, but I'll change it no matter what. Because that is the legacy that Mio left me. Even if you're left alone? Even if I'm alone. In that case... Let us walk together. Um... I'm sorry. My hair. It's gotten kind of long. Will you still... walk alongside me? Noah? Mio! Ouroboros! <gasps> Does that mean... I meant the two of you? So... The one who died is... You'd be by my side! Mio! All I did, I did for you! You must have known. <gasps> the other me. She couldn't follow you anymore. She couldn't go on.
What you see, those are our memories. Continuing uninterrupted since the world was taken captive a long time ago. Memories of me and him. Why are you showing me this? You are. No, all of you are my repentance. Repentance? How I wanted us to be. You embody all our hopes, our dreams of how this world should be. Even though you and your friends should never have existed, the fact that you are here is proof enough. So you'll let me live. But if you go through with this, you'll be... To my Noah, the time with me is everything. I just want it to end. <sighs> Mobius, like me, we can exist only by taking the souls of those that grace this world. Nobody pays the slightest mind to the thoughts and dreams those many lives espouse. We gorge ourselves, covered every ember, just to delay our inevitable ruin. That's why you want to disappear. If I die, maybe he'll see. Maybe he could somehow realize what it is that I wish. That would be enough. Afterwards, it'll be up to you two to walk the path we ought to have walked, he and I. The path they ought to have walked? So it's confirmed. N and M are other versions of Noah and Mia. The other me, she passed all of her memories on to me so that I could share everything with you. Share everything? I have to know. How could you do this? Why are you on their side? What are you talking about? I felt him with these hands. That sensation. The emotion. It was no illusion. And yet you still became Mobius. Harvesting people, without even batting an eye. <laughs> I want to know why. Isn't there a trace left inside you of your old feelings? Because if there was even a little... Feelings, you say, you dare. Feelings. My feelings have never changed. They're the same as they've always been. They're for you, Mio. The time I had with you meant everything to me. But now, it's all gone. <laughs> if she truly is gone, I'll have to redo it all. Watch me rewind our clocks back to the start! <sighs> Noah, my long shadow, you have stolen her away from me. I will extinguish you and take her back! Mio is mine! She's not yours, she's mine. You are nothing, she belongs only to me! Words won't cut him. I can't get through to him. Mio! Mimi! Mio! Are you... Are you really my Mimi? I'm sorry, I worried you. This was the only way. No! It's fine! You're here! Might want to leave the Teary reunion till later. The mud is glaring and he looks pissed off. I can more or less grasp what's going on here. I 
You'd better explain the details later. Yeah, absolutely. If words won't get through to him, there's only one way left to us. No. We can't let this go on. Mio! Yeah. I'm ready when you are. You've got, got ahead, ahead of yourself, yourself, X. Let's get stuck in! Oh. N! Come on! Destroy them! Make it so they're not reborn. Pound their souls into the dust. I don't take orders from you. But Mobius are the world itself. There can be but one me, and I am it! I will take her back. My Neo will be mine. You will stand in my way. I shall destroy! Let me give you a test! Chimera! Hold on tight! Into the city! Come on now! Get lost! Switch! You won't get away! Come here! I got something for ya! Of origin. 
You are going to end it all! To end Mobius, the pinnacle of life! This very world! If the world holds our lives back, I will end it! It's as simple as that! It is impossible. I tried. We tried to walk that path and failed. You're, you're full of shit! shit. You, you never, never tried, tried, you're just a coward! What to do? If you meant it, you'd have found a way, but you didn't even try to make the effort. Did you? So what do you know of the world and of life? En, do you know why she traded places with me? She felt imprisoned. And you, you put her there. Shuffling lives pointlessly back and forth for an eternity of control. You call it... Control. She never really wanted anything like that. She just... She wanted to live out her precious days together with you. You should have been able to give her that. Is that... Why she handed her life to you? Is that why she rejected me? It's not rejection. She understood. She always knew your reasons. All she wanted was to end your misery. That's the reason she gave this body to me. By leaving this world behind, she wanted to tell you. She didn't want forever. She wanted to be there with you. And so she left me behind. She would do that! How can we be together now? With her gone from the world, what's the point of it all? You that drove her to this! Wake up already! You're Noah, right? Why? Why does nothing seem to get through to you? <laughs> Damage to his core? <laughs> Useless lunk. Although... N is the wielder of the Sword of Origin. It'd be a problem to have him croak here. Don't you think, Zed? Oh well. In that case... Is that what she really was? Knew it! It's the same as with Kevis! We've got a winner! In Kevis's case, it was all a bit too much, huh? But this time, there will be no escape!
One blow? That sword. Guess there's no mistaking it. Where did a brat like him get that? Don't waste your time on petty tricks. The castle is in our hands now. Petty tricks, huh? <laughs> you think you've won? Tell me, do you know the phrase, last laugh? Admittedly, you probably won't find this very funny, but I will. See how you like this! An annihilator! There was one in Agnes too! We have another winner! Wait! What are you even gonna shoot? You wanna know the target? It's right here! The city! How'd they even find it? <gasps> you didn't! You've even sold out the city! Just what the hell do you know? You dream of living out your days in peace! You want to protect the natural way of life! <laughs> All that shite is a right afforded only to the powerful! <sighs> what about those who can't live in peace, huh? Are they meant to survive in all this chaos? Until the very day they die! I have not one thing to my name! I don't even have the power to choose! Screw it! For all I care, all of this can go to HELL! Shania, please. Whichever way you lot want to slice it, your lives are in our grasp! I will teach you the meaning of regret and reap you like so much rotten grain! I didn't think they'd have an ace up their sleeve. I got careless. It's okay. What? Ahoy! You dead? 
that voice? Condor? Yes, he's back, bitches! Condor! You're all right! Damn, that was going to be my line! Heh, <laughs> looks like things worked out over here anyway. Did she...? Yep. If she hadn't clued us in, we'd be up Ship Creek now. Right. Mio. Monica and the others? Bitch Queen's fine too. The city's currently right about here. Underneath the world? How is that possible? The city itself is actually a massive bloody for honours. If we feel like it, we can move it to anywhere in the world. Simply astounding! I thought it was just like an oversized colony. There wasn't exactly common knowledge. The Bitch Queen and I knew. And a handful of others. That's it. We had to be sure so that some slimy traitor wouldn't drop us in it. Traitor. <sighs> All right. I'm not going to ask why. I suppose I know the reason. But if it's what I'm thinking, then I don't get it at all. If we'd made one mistake, the city would have been wiped out. Before we're done, you'll tell me everything I want to know. Shania. <gasps> it's your eyes, that look. You've always looked at me that way. Why did it have to be like this? Why is it always me, standing here on my own? Shania. <laughs> I've had it. I've had it up to here. <gasps> This isn't what I meant by done! Don't misunderstand! This is... This is the beginning! Shania! Ready, Senna? Noah. This is the fate that Shania chose. It isn't the end. Like she said herself, this is the beginning. Come on. Up you get. I don't know if it'll reach her, but still, Senna, we'll do all we can. Hmm. Looks like colony relations have changed. Looks like colony relations have changed.
to add more names. I can't help but wonder, would I have been able to save you? I wanted time to stand still, more than anything. I felt completely powerless. I wished time would stop. If the moment could have lasted forever, we... I wished for the unthinkable, just like N. I proved to be just like him. For my part, this is all I need. When did you two? It was when we first fought against Em. Ever since then, Em and I were swapped around. I see. I honestly thought you were M back there. You had me fooled. Maybe that's a bad way to put it. In any case, I didn't realize at all. I did try my best. I couldn't afford to fail. If anyone suspected me, you'd have all been executed on the spot. But her feelings... I couldn't simply let them go to waste. M's feelings? She wanted to give you everything that she knew about Anne. To help us escape. To break this never-ending Mobius curse. To lose and lose and still stand back up. Even in the depths of despair. She wanted you to have the strength to defeat those at the root of that despair. She sure had a lot of faith in me. Oh. She believed that if anyone in the world could make it possible, it would be you. That's why she merged our will so we could act to further our goal. Earlier, you said it was fun, but it wasn't you, it was Em. I really think she meant it. It was brief, but being who I am now, passing my thoughts along onto you, and receiving yours in turn. She was grateful. I see. From that moment, Em's words were my words, and my words were now hers. Her life was scattered on the breeze, but her memories and her will live on inside my heart. Come, I have something to show you.
suggest we take a break. There's so much choice. There's so much choice. We could do with some food. It's good to keep a record. But you're in our way! Never a dull moment, eh?
here. M was still unsure to the very last whether to show you the memory of this place. But I think it would be best. This place, it was everything to N. What do you mean? Well, you see, this is where the city once stood. It did? It was long ago. The city back then. It was much more prosperous than now. It positively teemed with people. So then... It must have drawn Mobius's ire even more than now. There it lies before you, your heart's desire. There is no life within. You must breathe it into her yourself. <gasps> life from the people of the city. You want me to end every one of them? Why the hesitation? Existing in this place is by itself a result of your own choices. You are the one who chose the endless now, are you not? Your response should already be predetermined. Such a shame. Wait! Please! The city's inhabitants were the descendants of M, N, and others who became Ouroboros in the past. In exchange for the lease on life they would get as Mobius, Zed ordered N to kill the city's people. I didn't want to lose any more. What do you mean, any more? Everything we held dear is gone. You took them all away. And you dare talk about your feelings of loss. Now you will continue to exist as Mobius. The same as myself. You did it. Sealed our fate. Now we can live forever. But this future's been stamped out before its time. And... I can't even disappear. Only two things were important to him. Impossible. How could one ever choose between them?
Surely he couldn't... do it. And yet... he did make a choice. No one can truly judge him for the things he did. Repentance. Mm. The intentions they left behind. They turned into us. Mm. Of course, it's heartbreaking, but... But still, she was smiling. We have to change things. Yeah. And this time, we'll succeed. So it's set. Our new goal. Agreed? Yes. He can't get away with this. And I'm not feeling very forgiving either. But guys, now we know there's an even bigger bad behind that snuffer. Zed. Making someone choose the impossible? It's so cruel! Thanks, everyone. Looks like your minds are made up. Here, this is yours. By the by, who is that Zed sleazebag? He's something like the head of all Mobius, or so it seemed. I've only met him in the memories that M showed me, though. We now know his power is vast, far greater than any of the others in Mobius. Damn, so he's... Yes, he is our true adversary. The one who formed the world we know. Just who decided that this was how it should be? If I knew who they were or where, I'd... worth a bunch.
Feels like we have one less worry now, eh? Agreed. They should be able to start on repairs now. Not what I meant, though. I meant this whole thing. Mio, that's right. At that moment, everything just felt so utterly hopeless that it hurt. There wasn't a thing I could do. But it still worked out, right? Huh. Thanks to all of you being there. Ah. What? Surprised you didn't choke on those words. Well, of course not. I can express some emotions. <laughs> there has to be a reason we met. Hmm? Say what? It's something that Noah said once. And you found a reason? We've seen one wish granted. True. Still, we've got a way to go. This isn't nearly the end. No rest for Ouroboros. At least we've won ourselves an extension. Oh, it'll work out somehow. Uni, am I sensing a streak of optimism? I thought you were one to worry about the details a bit more. Now I've got a reliable guy to stand by me, so... Oh. What, what and, and who might that be then? <laughs> That'll be my secret. We could do with some food. Mmm, <sighs> delicious. This has me raring to go. Just do whatever you like. You gotta keep it long. It'd be a crying shame. Well, this body, it's been granted to me by my other self, right? I don't know if it's fine for me to just snip. Yeah, that's a big question for sure. Hmm. The hair doesn't just belong to me, but it's... It's what? It's such a pain in the ass to wash. Huh? What? I just can't smile and deal with it. How she'd ever have the patience? The washing takes ages and the bedhead's a nightmare. And don't get me started on the latrine. Whoa. Say no more, love. Oh, Mimi. So, what do you think? Uh, well, 
Look, why don't you just ask Noah? This has nothing to do with him. It's my problem and mine alone. Is it just that you're looking for permission? I'd also settle for a no. Hmm. <laughs> right then, let's sort this out. We'll decide for you if you want. But afterwards, you better not come crying, got it? Mm, I won't, I promise. The Cloud Keep, you say? Yes. It's where the Queen of Agnes lies sleeping. And this is the key we need to get there. You could throw yourself off. But it wouldn't be enough. Such is the fate of a Mobius. You should know by now. It's you. We've met before, when you were still human. Your Majesty, my Queen. I will go to sleep, for a good long time indeed. That should keep me out of Zed's claws. <sighs> Take this. Whenever it is I wake up again, the world will be ripe for a change. Until that time, keep it safe. You should give it to those who deserve it. How will I know who? They'll come before you. Of that I have no doubt. But why choose me? Because you, nay, the two of you one day, you will certainly meet your true selves. Our true selves? Huh? I must say, I'm surprised by the location. It's right in the vicinity of Gamma M9. How has it escaped detection for all this time? The area around the keep, it's absolutely swimming with black fog. And there's optic camouflaging on the structure itself. So that'll be why. Is that all from M's memories? Hmm. All stuff she passed on to me. Crazy. Gondo, you knew M. Yeah, from a pretty long way back. She's the one who gave me that bloody thing in the first place. She said you lot were our last hope. Asked us to lend you our assistance and junk. She must have been guarding the Queen's words. Yeah, for proper yonks and yonks and no mistaking. And that's also the reason that you were waiting for us. Cooped up there all that time. Busted. And the thousand lives thing. What was all that? Nice spiel, right? I wrote it. Are you serious? Snuff, that's a letdown. You what? Let's head out as soon as we're ready. Mobius is still out and about. We don't have to worry about Mio's lifespan anymore. But we can't just sit around, okay? Yeah, definitely. Um, guys? Mm hmm? <laughs> There's a place, other than Cloudkeep, that I really need to go to. Really need? Seems you're rather troubled. Are you certain it's really that vital? It's Colony Omega. Omega? What? No way! It's still there? 
The colony I lived in with me Abbey. It was under the control of Mobius Y. I learned something important from the other me. Me Abbey's still alive. This me Abbey, she clearly means a lot to you then. I'm happy to leave the decision to you. Of course we can head for the keep first. This is something personal for me. Right. I hear you. Okay. To Omega. If Mio's saying she has to go there, then we will. We'll make it high priority. Thank you, Noah. Stinks. Frickin' sort of origin thing. You made me look like a complete idiot! The unexpected doth come to pass. Deeply fascinating. Yeah, but what's the plan? You're not gonna wanna let it slide, surely? We acknowledge and accept. Whether outside, or indeed within, all is part of the flow. Man, you're like a broken record. It is, after all, part and parcel of my being. Huh. I'll just do things my way, then. Uruboros. They're nothing without what we gave them. Huh. Got a problem, Why? I shall claim primacy. I guess we'll be heading out once everyone's ready. I guess we'll be heading out once everyone's ready. First off is the West Gate, right?
Don't try to stop us. I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, it's it's a a Enemy's broken away from me. Ah, 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 ah. I got something for you. Wow, So I just pulled it free. No, I mean Lucky Seven? Hmm. Well, seem like it. It's not changed one bit. Well, obviously. Shape just cosmetic. Pardon? People and Ouroboros also not change. Before pull free, Mobius' power not affect it either. Right. Hmm. Lucky is simple contraption. What actually matter, Noah? The will of the wielder. If understand, then why ask? Just who are you? Riku, just Riku. Common variety Nopon. And how's common Nopon get his wings on this? As said, receive from Master Pond to keep safe. Really? What Noah possibly think? Riku mustered up some big fancy lie? What Riku say funny? Nah, all good. We'll say I believe you. Meh meh. Riku bothered by that wording. Don't worry. I think I get it now. Oh? Nonetheless, Lucky Seven is something we'll have to cherish as we go on. Riku, thanks a lot. Marvelous. Deft motions with nary a sign of hesitation. The footwork, remarkable. Thee especially. Oh, how gladdened I am to have awoken thee. Miyabi, my most valuable puppet. Guide them forth with thy inimitable melody. These waifs, these immaculate strays.
Beyond here is the Etia region. And it's onwards to the Cloud Keep. This has turned into a proper Ionios trotting adventure. Can't even get through that obstacle, Miyabi? Shouldn't have slacked in basic. 20 laps to the colony, and pick up the pace! <laughs> An Offseer? Really? That's right. But why? I was top of the rankings, in all the training categories. It's done. But sir... Enter. Miyabi. As of now, consider yourselves our official Colony Theta Officers. But Commander... Understand. This decision is final. So, did you learn the score? Hmm, I guess. So you can play it? More or less. That's so cool! And your part's so much harder than mine as well. I've been trying, but I'm struggling a bit with the start of the 12th bar. Can we please just drop it? Oh. We play tomorrow. I just want to get it over with. You're right, yeah. Sorry. Oh. Well then, I'll practice and make sure I've got my part down pat. Shall we go, Mia? Whoa, too cold for my blood. from Colony 9.
Nadia, what's up? Fine tuning? Yeah. Got another battle tomorrow. Bit of a waste, ah. Uh. And you're such a slick fighter, too. Can't believe they paired you with that klutz me Abby. I don't know what the commander was thinking. <laughs> uh, at least you get to take it easy. Low risk of dying when you're in the rear guard. <clears throat> Nadia, we're waiting for you. Mission briefing? Cool, be right there. Later! Guess we live to fight another day? Come on, let's head back. To be fair, we scored some good points today. Tally's next week, was it? It's all such a waste. What is? Everyone else is out collecting life. And here we are, noodling our tunes. What use are we really? To the colony and everyone? I think it's obvious. We can only truly contribute... After death, is all. After death, though. Isn't that just pointless? We could be playing our hearts out here, and nobody'd even see us. Is that right? Sure it is! Mio, is that why you're here? For recognition? Is that why you're being an officer? For a commendation? No, it's just... duty. You know... I'm actually glad I was born a klutz. I bet you're just scared. <sighs> it is scary. Fighting. I am afraid to steal others' lives with my own hands. Actually, I'm impressed that it comes so easy to everyone else. It's just natural. We all of us live to fight. You're wrong. We just have to... We fight to live, that's all. <sighs> Mio, have you ever touched a mote of light from a Kavesi? <sighs> They're the same as ours. On the other side, the people live hoping the same things as us. It's a sad fate. Still, if we're forced to live this way, the least we can do is this. Fly high, ever higher. Goodbye, and thank you to 
send on the voices of the departed is an off-seer's purpose. It's not a waste at all, so long as those voices speak to you. Voices? Mio! Miyabi! Thanks, guys! Better give it a good one, over. We can do better yet! 
This is the West Group, right? And you say we'll find Colony Omega here? Yeah. The colony I was at with me, Abby. This is an eye patch only area. something decent, right? <laughs> it's so cold I might fall over. <sighs> Should we take a breather? Sounds good. The cold of the Highlands is no joke. It would definitely be a good idea to rest up. How about that spot over there? Yeah, that looks good. Let's go. Oh, I'm freezing. Mio, aren't you cold? Mm, this is still bearable for me. I guess you hate the cold, Uni? Thank you. 
It's all making sense. Good to add more names. I see some relations have changed. Better make sure we're well rested. Where should I start? I definitely feel stronger. Let's get some food on the go. Mio, can you tell us more about Colony Omega? I've had glimpses when we interlink, but what does it all mean? Right. I'll try. Senna, is that okay? May I? Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. You can tell them. Five years ago, the three of us were foot soldiers in Colony Theta. One day with no reason given, we were transferred to Colony Omega. We didn't fight. Rather, we were subject to daily examinations for no clear reason. Then one day, there was a... an accident. my whole self. So please, live life in my stead. Miyabi. Thank you. Trulia, 
hero. I decided. I'll find it for myself. I'll leave my mark. On others and the world. This lifetime that Miyabi gave to me. I'll use it well. Regret all you want, but the past can never be changed. But you can change who you are in the present. If I was stronger then, like now, I might have been able to save everyone. Is it wrong to think that? Not at all. I feel you. I know I wish I'd been stronger back then. So yeah, I want to go back there with that in mind. And now I have the chance. Mio, what kind of colony is this Omega? I never even knew it existed. Yeah, our side didn't know about it either. We've got, what, 23 Acnean colonies in all? They go up to Psy. Good intel. Hey now, don't go lumping me in with Lance. I took my education seriously. Ah, shut up. Don't flatter yourself. Colony Omega was an independent entity. It never engaged. The name it used was Agnion, but even that wasn't the whole truth. Omega's administrator was the Mobius Y. He was performing some kind of experiment there. Using us as guinea pigs. I don't know what he was doing. M wasn't briefed on it either. All I can remember is that oddly glowing violet flame clock. A colony that doesn't fight. Never knew that was even a thing. Why has restored it now? Colony Omega, I mean. You know this from M. Senna, anything to add? I don't really know much about it. The accident happened pretty soon after we were moved. I see. Omega's existence, the tests, it was all why. That's just the Mobius he is. Do share. Mimi, remember? Didn't we see the same color on Ethel and Kamaravi's Veronises? I could be wrong. No, you're spot on. Good call, Senna. I didn't think of that at all. Really? and Kamaravi had their lives taken. And in that accident, so were the whole colonies. Most likely, Y was running experiments that could potentially prove fatal to us soldiers. And now that the colony's back, you're thinking Miyabi's still in there. Yeah. That's why I have to go. To end this. He's toyed with our lives as he pleases for long enough. Exactly. I'm with you. Let me go too. We're all going, I thought. Right? Yeah. Obviously. Let's go, Mio. To Colony Omega. Everyone, thank you. This time, I'll do the saving.
The brilliance doth please. For ceaseless eons, we Mobius have a bitten a pace with this world. Yet with drawn out abiding, many lost sight of the pith thereof, dissipating slowly as doth the world. of life is exigent, more dazzling than now, if we wish to save the world. Decent, right? I hope we can make use of this. Omega is somewhere around here, right? Yeah, it should come into view any minute now. Huh. No way! It really is Colony Omega. Me happy. Suppose they'll let us past. There's only one way to open it. I exclude it. Ah! Ah! away from me! Wait a sec. They're a mixed unit. But that's just not possible. Possible or not, it's what we've got to deal with right now. We'll just have to adapt. Unusual. They might be stretched thin. Huh? If it's like Neo said, and they've been running an experiment out of Omega... These soldiers are evidently one of the results. Kevis and Agnes. What kind of experiment could involve both of them? I don't know. But I do know the answer lies ahead. Let's aim for the flame clock. We're sure to learn something there. More colonies added. Guys, get ready to fight! Make this go here! I got something for ya! Thanks! Yes, sir! Enemies broken away from me! Ah! End of the line! Hey, this one means business. Come here! I got something for ya! You. You're alive! Try to run! Enemies broken away from me! Yeah! Your feet! What? I have a damage! Set eyes over here! You didn't disappoint! How surprising an ambush. 
better give him a proper welcome! They've been... reborn? No, if that was the case, wouldn't they be way younger? Mwamba looks like he did this term. Mwamba! It's me! Lance! You know me! Stop it! Mwamba! And now Kamaravi? What's going on? This melody... Why? Miyabi! It's me! Sana, your friend! We came to save you! You don't have to fight for him anymore! So stop and come along with us! Save thy breath. <gasps> the Revenants neither remember nor feel. Only the instinct to fight tooth and nail for survival. Normally, they would undergo basic conditioning in a cradle prior to being awoken. As you all once did. They would fight for ten years before returning to Her Majesty. What a piece of work. These younglings, they live for the sole purpose of battle. They are just as you are. You're full of it. Our memories and feelings, they define us. They dictate who we are. When you take all of that away... Tis a phantasm. Fundamentally, memories and feelings are but tacked on extras and afterthought. Tacked on? Cut the crap! Oh, they are a sheep. You are simply deceiving yourselves, wishing to divine some meaning from something that is devoid of it. <sighs> Why are you doing this? What's your goal? Merely the betterment of life for Mobius. What? For such is Zed's humble desire. Zed? It is Zed who wove the fabric of this world. Consequently, we, who are his avatars, enjoy powers beyond mortal ken. Mobius or Zed's avatars? The gift I was imparted 
is the creation of flame clocks. Must I say more? I hold the life of every soldier in the very palm of my hand. <gasps> Indeed, the flame clocks. They are part of my very being. Ethel and Kamaravi's flame clocks. Those were some of my finest work. Did they not thrill you? The ebb and flow of their lives. <sighs> then did it strike me. Like unto a flame, human life also doth glow and glimmer brightest just before it is quenched. And hence, there can be no greater nourishment. Indeed, this flame clock is therefore my proudest creation. The final year when life is at its most dazzling. A clock that gives rise to a sublime instant. Tis a flame clock most radiant. Final year? So that's it. Muamba and Kamaravi, you brought them back close to their homecoming. Why? This is all kinds of screwed up. I've never met anyone I wanted to punch more. Yeah. Even for Mobius, he takes the biscuit. What is the matter? Proceed with the killing. Let your function be fulfilled and kill. And I shall raise you up as many times as needed with my flame clocker blaze. He's mad. Come. Come. Let my eyes feast upon the brilliance of your lives. Here, anon! So strong! Kamaravi too. The last time we fought, he was in a Faronis. But he seems to be even more driven this time round. Sparks! Is this their fight or flight instinct? Kormiabi. They're strong, all right. But that's all they are. Huh? The melody Miyabi used to play? It wasn't like this. There's no way it was ever this sad. So then... Yeah. They're hollow. There's no will behind their actions. It's not our old friends that we're fighting here. It's something else. An astute observation, yes. It is so. Owing to the basic conditioning being lacking, their psyches are rather unstable. The melody you hear serves to prop them up. 
Amafsir conveys peace to their cohorts. They enable them to realize dreams. That is what I focused my efforts on, and iterated. That's wrong! You can't use the Offseers! Au contraire, au contraire. Behold for thyself. The mental instability is assuaged, and their movements adhere to the base specifications. Certainly, there is no will behind it, but will is an undesired side effect. Evil! You can't do this! Not to me, Abby! Not to our off-seen rights! How dare you use them to your own ends! <sighs> That's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Feelings? Raw emotion. It resonates. Mio! It's feelings! Feelings? It's the off melody we've been playing. We just need to play it again now. She's an Offseer too. I know for sure it'll reach her. Of course, yeah. Our melody. Just like always. Yeah. Understood. I'm taking the lead. You follow. Noah, Mia, what are you... Wow. Good thinking, you two. Huh? I'm saying this might actually work. Come on, guys. Defend. Lance, Senna. All right. Sure thing. Abby? Hear me? It's me. Mio. Remember? That day, when you first explained to me the purpose of an Offseer. Softly. That fateful day, when the lights of life danced into the sky. So high. Ever since that day, I've... I've done my best. To play that melody you trusted me with. Me, Abby, you gave me newfound life back then. Now, let it be my turn. Mio. Help me. Just wait, Me, Abby. I'll be with you soon. Mio! Mio! Huh? How can this be? Their memories... Their minds ought to have all been scoured clean! Why? An Offseer's melody... It's more than a sequence of notes! It is shaped by feelings. Those of the player and of the ones being played for. All I did 
will shape the feeling me Abby passed to me. And play my heart out. Inconceivable. You were able to override Zed's precepts? No Ouroboros should command that sort of power! The Sword of the End. That's what's behind this reprehensible act! Well then, I shall just have to ascertain the matter! Oh, Spark! He's coming! Now he steps in. He's even chunkier than that K guy! That is a lot of chunk! No! Mia! Come on! Yeah! Take him down! Then we can free the colony! Since you built it, no longer bound by the flame hooks. My mobile's power certainly holds no sway over you. Ergo! At this late hour, I will bring my mind, spirit, and flesh to bear. And batter you all into a period! Get 
hurry! Cut, Cut the, the flame, flame pole, pole now! Incredible effort. Ouroboros. Reviving their memories is no small feat. And how? Scintillating a display. Now, take their brilliance in hand. Spread it wide, and in so doing, illuminate the world therewith. I shall be watching, eagerly. He got away! Miyabi. Miyabi! I've, uh... I've been listening all along. The melody you've been playing. Every day. Since then. Yeah. Miyabi, thanks to you. I sent on so many. So many voices to so many others. And I'm not done yet. I'll keep going. It was a gorgeous melody. Yours. And... Noah. Nice to meet you, I guess. Though I already feel like I know you. Noah, huh? Yours was very beautiful. Just like Mio's. I owe it to this. You... you hold on to that. Oh, I I'm sorry. I'll wash it. It'll be as good as new. Dummy, that's not what she was trying to say at all. Wait, why am I... Right? From me to Mio, and from her to you, the feeling is passed on. Until you can make your voice truly heard, please... Keep it with you, yeah? I will. If that's how you feel, I'll be more than happy to keep using it. Take care then. Mio! Huh? You've become the greatest offseer I've ever seen. Oh, there's still room to grow. But at least I found my stride. Since I'm not alone. Could I, uh, come with you? Of course. You're back, Miyabi. We really missed you. Thank you, Mio, Senna.
Kunt u wat more names? It's good to keep a record. Mia, I'm glad we were able to save you. Yes. Thanks so much, everyone. Next stop, the Cloud Keep. We injured him. Oh. You can stop resisting now. Victory is already decided. Surrender quietly. Enough. You will find. I don't do as my foes bid me. The enemies you seek. Huh? I know more. It's you. Your senses return suddenly. You must be feeling confused. If we startled you, we're sorry. Everyone, please put away your weapons. Mimi! It's okay. It's Kamaravi. He wouldn't attack a defenseless opponent. What makes you so sure? I don't believe it's consistent with the warrior's way you follow. You've got some guts. You must want something of me. I'll hear you out. I'll start from the end. We want you to come to the city with us. City? Which colony is that? Is it a colony? How to explain? It's a special place. Safer than where we are at present. Of course, we don't intend to hold you against your will or force you into anything. Then what has it to do with me? What do you seek to gain from this? We want you to live true to yourself. True to? Explain. Someone once showed us it was possible to live life as we wanted to. We want to pass it on and let you be free. Free? Ugh. Are you okay? It's nothing. Just a little twinge. Could it be... Miyabi's lingering influence? No. This is innate. I can't see through it, but it's fine. Remember the fight with P&O? It could be from that. That pain was the price. What Kamaravi paid for freedom. Or maybe... still does. About what you asked of me before, I have one condition. Promise me that they will receive the same treatment as I. That was our intent from the start. You needn't worry on that count. I thank you. Whatever the circumstance we find ourselves in, the crucial question is always, how do we live? They will realize it too, before long.
I wish to find the path I should tread, to discover my warrior's way. For now, we are traveling companions, headed for this place you call the city. Thank you. You will be welcome there. By the by, Kamaravi, how are you with height? In what sense? I thought you might be startled, so I wanted to give you a heads up. Hmm? You'll understand when you see it. We'll let you know once we're ready to go. Understood. I await eagerly. The Radiant Flame Clock. Isn't it funny? Our being together here like this is partly thanks to this thing. Good to add more names. I am a leaf on the surface of a lake. I am a stone warming in the sun. I am the clouds on a windless day. I am the reed that bends but does not break. You can relax. We've landed now. Guess he didn't like heights after all. Funny, considering how gung-ho he was riding around in his Faronis. Yeah, okay, but... I don't think we should talk about the past in front of him. He's just been born, and in a tenth-term body. I'm sure he just wants to focus on the here and now. What are you smirking at? Oh, just... You're a genuine good egg, Uni. Huh? Where did that come from? Hey there! Hey, Travis. Man, am I glad to see you guys. Something terrible's happened. You won't believe it. Oh, but no word of it to the boss lady, yeah? My salary's on the line here. That's a corker of a preamble, mate. You gonna actually tell us what's going on? Somebody opened one of the cradles. You think it was an intruder? I don't know. But there weren't any obvious signs of it. The soldier inside has gone missing as well. Someone you knew, I gather. It's, uh... Oh, come on, it's on the tip of my tongue. You know, what's her name? Uh, with the silver hair. No way. Ethel. That's it, Ethel. Oh, why is all this happening on my watch? Oh, never mind. Now's not the time for reflection. If such is the situation... I shall assist as well. Where shall we look? What? Um, we were just... surprised that you were so... uh... concerned. Uh, I am also recently of a cradle born. It may be some kind of fate at work. This soldier named Ethel, she may also find herself at a loss. So he... didn't actually remember. And also, you, 
good sir. Huh? Me? You must be frightfully exhausted. Do not push yourself, please. Hey, watch it, fella. I know I'm no spring chicken, but there's no need to rub it in. Sorry, mate, he's just been born. I'm pretty sure he didn't mean anything bad by it. Anyway, moving along. Movement in and out of the city is strictly regulated, so if there weren't any incidents reported so far, both the perp and Ethel must still be somewhere inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's first search for clues in the module warehouse. Good luck to you, whippersnappers. In the meantime, we'll take custody of the friends you contacted us about. They're called Mwamba and Hacked. What's gonna happen to them? They're not quite back to themselves yet, right? We'll give them a checkup, make sure they're all there. And after that, well, keep them under observation, I suppose. Either way, you can leave them with us. We leave them in your able hands, then? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. They'll be safe as houses. I'll be in the war room. Keep me abreast of any developments. High places sap my resolve. Oh, right. Well, I mean, it sort of makes sense. Some relations have changed. Well, it really is empty. It's definitely Ethel's module. But why would anyone want her? If we want to know that, we just got to catch him. And what do you know? They left us a clue. Nice of them. There's footprints all over the place. They seem to be in a rush. They're not Ethel's, are they? But then whose? We only have to follow them to find out. They can't have gone too far. Let's get going. with dirty feet. Ugh, disgraceful. I think that's probably the least of their issues. Let me check. It appears we can pass through here. Let's use this!
can make use of this. <laughs> what could Bibi do now? Um, excuse me. Bibi? Bibi, sorry. Sorry, so sorry. We haven't even said anything yet. QBB know without saying. Friends come looking for naughty boy QBB. QBB never meant to do any harm. QBB just... just want to enjoy a game of ultimate hide and seek. Hide and seek? What is that? It's ultimate pastime of daringly go and hide when not allowed to go. Daringly? Defying a prohibition? Mimi? Kibibi, please asking to not make scary face. So why did you open the cradle then? When get on panel, it opened by self. And when it opened, girl, wake up. Kibibi, really, truly sorry. We get it now, so wipe your tears. Look, you're getting your tummy wet. And what happened afterwards? Did you go somewhere with the Awoken Soldier? QBB gets scared and flee from scene of hide, but can tell Morley or Leslie where she go. QBB think it direction of Centrillo Parade. in a pine grove. I am Mithrice, growing across seasons. Eh? Friend okay? Don't mind him. He's just, uh, trying to maintain his cool. I updated Travis on the situation. He says he's coming to collect QBB. Is QBB in serious trouble? I don't expect him to be too severe, but you will need to do some repenting. Maybe. <laughs> Let's leave QBB in Travis's hands and go track down Ethel. She looks quite distinctive. Someone on Centrillo Parade should have noticed her. You are right. Yes, let us go. Good to add more names. you in time you're not hurt mm. I think I know you no. what's wrong with you nothing I just can't see anyway Kamaravi you're smoldering Kamaravi You recognize him? I have to... go somewhere? I have to... But why? Take it easy. Let's take our time, yeah? We'll help you look, no problem.
Now comes the tricky part. What do we do from here? What can we do except foster her in the city? A first term there won't be any use in a fight. Do you find that acceptable? I don't know. I have a proposal. Would you leave her with me for a while? Wait, you're saying you want to look after Ethel? Just until she settles on her own path. I want her to have that freedom. I don't know why, but I feel it strongly. For now, let's see what Travis thinks. As the city's concerned too, we shouldn't decide alone. Travis, I fear we will wear him out again. It's not fatigue that that guy struggles with. You know what, forget it. Maybe just don't say that to him, yeah? He's kind of touchy about it. I understand. I will mind my ways around him. Well, this certainly took an unexpected turn. We can't allow the loss to founder. Allow me to take charge. My hunger is stirred. Tell me if you need illumination. Quite well traveled by now, huh? Ah, well, I guess I mostly understand. Are you sure you can handle child rearing? Child rearing? What is that? In a nutshell, I'm asking if you're capable of taking responsibility for the proper upbringing of this little princess. I'm not princess. My name is Ethel. <laughs> Too precious. If you would consent to it, I will serve for the good of the city. I am sure I have my blind spots, but I always complete the duties assigned to me. I'll help too. Uh, but you cannot fight. I can be your eyes, though. I can see that which you cannot. No? By the flames. Spirited, isn't she? Oh yeah, too spirited, I'd say. Look, let me bend your ear a little. You don't think it's going to work? It's not really my position to think anything. Right. Well, I'll try talking to Monica, then. Oh, okay, f fine, fine, fine. I, I get it. Uh, let's do this. I'll take care of Ethel, and instead we'll have Kamaravi help out on the combat side. That'll be perfect, don't you think? Hey, hey, You're that scared of Monica? Oh, I'm scared, all right. But I'm not just trying to cover it up from sheer terror, okay? It's just that woman takes on way more than she should. I bet she doesn't know how to take it easy. So I figured, you know, I'd lighten her load by doing this much, at least. Your warrior's way is unimpeachable, sir. I will never forget your kindness. Be sure, the debt will be repaid. Oh yeah? Well, make it hundredfold then. Don't get greedy, Trav. Oh, we're doing nicknames now. How about we start with Lieutenant Travis and go from there, eh? I am deeply indebted to you all as well. Don't swell it. No, this is truly a grave debt. Especially 
tie on. You said I should live true to myself. I haven't discovered exactly what that means yet, but now I understand what you meant at least. And am grateful to you for setting me on the right path. You were the source of the spark that set my flame alight. Thank you. Um... Tyon, he's talking to you. I know. I just never in my life thought I would be on the receiving end of this kind of speech. The future. Really, it is a foreign country. Huh. I suppose it is. I'm sure in time you and Ethel will find it. The right path. The right code to live by. Yes. Until such time, I, Kamuravi, remain ready to do battle for the city. And for you as well. Don't worry. I have a close eye on Ethel. I see some relations have changed. I'll take the offensive then. Gotta keep you guys safe. Good to keep a record. It should be operable now. We wait. Shall we stop it on Travis while we're here? Oh, you guys are best buds now. That's nice. Quite well traveled by now, huh? Ha! 
halfway to the summit. We've just got to stick it out a little longer then. Better send them off. Is that a supply drop? <laughs> psst. Said psst. What's up? So, um, you've got... M's memories. Uni, why are we whispering? Roll with it. I do, yeah. Why, though? So tell me stuff. Tell you what stuff? Stuff about the Queen and Mobius. Anything you got. But like what exactly? Like how the two are connected? Any secrets? Or where they are? Oi, no giving out exclusives. Lance? We want to know this stuff too, right? Well, I suppose. But still. Yeah, I trust Mimi. If it was important, I'm sure she'd tell us everything. And since she's not saying, there's a reason, right? If it's about the Queen, you shouldn't hear it from me, but rather from Her Majesty herself, I think. The Queen's bound to know things that M didn't. Oh, so that's it then? You're just gonna pass the buck? Well, I suppose so. Feels a bit stingy, that's all. Hey, no grumbling. I'm in the same levelness as you. Okay? All right, all right. I'll yield. Might as well save my appetite for the main course. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. I don't think we're we'll running to an issue. Mario, let's cheer up, gang! You're a lifesaver. Mario! You're a murderer! Right inside! 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 Right If only you didn't charge off on your own. Let us prepare for what's to come.
see some relations have changed. Mio, are we there yet? Not long now. Hang in there. This will be a challenge. Don't lose focus. Time to test our message.
Teamwork couldn't handle. Whatever happened to not being careless? Let's go someplace else. <laughs> I hope we can make use of this. Glad I made this journey. There's nothing special here. Friends, sure we come to right place? We're good. You'll see. bit of tech. Amazing how they kept it hidden. So is this where the Queen's been sleeping then? Yes. Right at the very top. Right. Let's move. Not far now. A few more stairs. We might finally discover the way to free the world. End Mobius's reign. This is our first time here, isn't it? It's good to keep a record. In one revelation after another these days, and now here we are, walking through thin air like it's totally normal. Watch your step, it's a long way down. Huh? This is new. Ah, oh, at last. So, this is the Cloud Keep. It's certainly lavish. Man, get a load of this place. Do you think the Queen's really here? If you fall off, you're on your own. You think we'll be able to meet the real Queen soon? I'm feeling kind of tense. What's the matter, Tyon? Not getting all nervous, are you? 
We're here. Yes. shit now. Yoren! You rats! How'd you find us? I don't get your surprise. That one's still half Mobius. You didn't seriously think we'd lose her, did you? Or did you think you're all that just because you managed to defeat N? To you, I got to end that aggravating old bat, fulfilling Zed's orders in the process. Looks like we got played. Yorin, are you seriously? Seriously, what? Teaming up with this creep. You've killed her! Wasn't that clear? You know I am Mobius. I was reborn, and on that day, Jay surpassed you all. That day? Right. Then tell me. Why did you do it? Trade your life for mine? You could have ignored me, got away safe. Well, Chi, I have no idea. Hmm. Let's see, there might be something in one of my memories. Maybe if I die instead of him, I'll please him? Perhaps that's what I was thinking. One of your memories. Since I couldn't do anything else right, you know? Must be nice to be you, Lance. Just being yourself. Nice to be me? You couldn't fathom how hard it is to be useless. You'd never understand, unless you'd seen yourself in that light. Oh, here's a thought. How about you try interlinking with me for a lark? I bet you'll cry at the state of me. Fun fact, you know. When you become Mobius, you're treated to all the memories of your past lives. I got to see all the different me's. Although they all pretty much met the same sad end. Deadweight will always be that. I am... Nothing but myself! <laughs> Those were all just coincidences! We know different! That's right! We thought... No, I knew for sure that you were awesome! Whatever. Bet you were well and truly fed up with me. Although, back on that day, I still managed to surpass you. I can still be here. 
feel this rush. And now, I'm having the time of my life.
Must be nice to be strong like you guys. And me? I was just a worm crawling in the dirt. But what I wanted was to fly. With every single new day I looked up to admire the birds freewheeling above. But I was a worm. Jorvan, cut the crap. The stuff you guys said was like if those birds went... But Mr. Worm, you do such great work tilling the soil. It's really important you keep at it for the sake of the world, you know? Do you see what I'm trying to say? And what's so wrong about that? I wanted my wings, you bastard! I thought if only I could earn your approval, it'd be like an updraft I could soar on! But birds, what can they possibly know of how a lonely worm feels? <sighs> You're a... Just how could you possibly think like that? You wanted approval, so you... How could I not? That's why I became Mobius. So I could be what I always aspired to be. What? This is you? It looks nothing like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, that's what I want to end up like someday. <laughs> Silly, huh? Liar! If you think you're satisfied being this way, you're lying to no one but yourself. I know you can't be at peace with this, so drop the act! <sighs> and yeah, maybe to you we were like birds. But that has nothing to do with strength. Only lack of choice. Lack of choice? Just look at how the world is for us. It wouldn't... It would never allow us to take any other form. So we have to change it. For weak people like us. Weak? You're weak. <laughs> On that day, weren't you smiling? Oh yes, I sure was smiling. Because it was the moment I rose above you. It was a grin of victory! No, it wasn't. On that day, you... That was the real you! Our friend, Joran. Stop mocking me! Look, you'd made it, Joran. You spread your true wings. <sighs> Joran. Your death, it changed me. Fighting isn't everything. I learned that if I chose, I could change myself, become anything. Yoren, I'm grateful as spark to you. Ain't you the same, Yoren? Maybe if you had the choice too, in a world where nothing has to be like this. And that's exactly the kind of world we want to create. We want choices. Remember your Mobius. You should have other nice memories as well. You have to try and remember them, anything at all. <sighs> I... I've seen all kinds of death. Taken a long, hard look at myself. So let me tell you. You're an... You're... You're more than this. Yoren, you've given me so much. You helped me find the will to endure these ten hard years. Come to us, please, Yoren. Let's all stand together. You don't belong with them. You just don't. Was that also me? That day it was like my body just moved. Don't you think you're getting carried away there? Ugh, what a loser! You good-for-nothing shit for brains!
Mr. Link? He's taking him over! Ah! He's a real piece of work! D. You scum! Ever had dreams? Dreams of dying? Of being slaughtered? Ah! Oh, well. Most people forget as soon as they wake. No harm done. But tell you what, they're all completely true. And so snuffing what? What if they were? The past is past, and the present is now. I wasn't finished. Dreams, you see. They're little traces of intense memories from your past lives that didn't get purged before rebirth. Little harmless bugs in the system, let's call them. However, not so with Mobius. Just like the runt said, when you become Mobius, in that very moment, all your past memories come rushing back to you. to my collection! Ready? <laughs> 
How's this for a plan? All right. So it goes. Not by your
I am D of the Morbius! The man who is black plays dark! I won't be beaten by some idiot upstarts! Black Blaze Dark? You've heard of him? I read about him in a textbook. An Agnian soldier from long ago who'd gone mad. Rather than take lives with his blade, he'd behead his enemies with talon-like swords, bring them back, and add them to his collection. So that's who we're dealing with? Is this your doing? Jay, what are you trying to pull? I can't crush these fools if you hold your strength back. Give it to me, you no good deadweight loser. Deadweight loser? Who else, kiddo? So give it up! Go on, give! Look, you'd made it, Yoren. You spread your true wings! So let me tell you... You're an... You're... You're more than this! I can be... More... Decided. It's my choice. I will be different. Yoren! This is who I am. Isn't it? Noah. Uni. Lands. Jay, stop! <laughs> if I die here, I won't... <laughs> Snuffing idiot. Always putting others ahead of yourself, you moron. You should have just... looked out for number one. But you were so scary, I didn't really feel like I had that option. I suppose... I'm sorry, Euron. Maybe... if we meet again. Yeah. And next time, we will win.
That was... Yarn. Yeah, sure was. I swear, he hadn't changed one bit. But this... This isn't okay. People shouldn't have to make such heartbreaking choices. Yeah. That's exactly why we gotta move forward. Yeah, well... What do we do? The Queen's... She's gone now. What do we do? What can we even do? This was supposed to be how we take back our world. I'm so sorry. I knew I was half Mobius. I should have been more careful. But instead... to the side and things that have been a sight twist. Oh, what? 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 Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, you must be. Impossible. I saw it! I saw her being stabbed directly through the heart! And all that blood everywhere! But now... Now she's alive! Alive and kicking! Yeah! You are... After all, Your Majesty. My name is Nia, and I am the Queen of Agnes, one wing of Ionios. It's good to keep a record. N and M. Another version of us. What are we really? Why do we exist in the first place? The answers are within me, together with her hopes and dreams. I will give them a voice. I will make him hear our truth. Three hundred days remain to the intersection. It seems we might make it. Yes. It took every bit of our combined intellects, but we built it. To prepare for the time our two worlds collide. All that we are is contained within. Memories and our souls. We will all be gone, and then reborn. Will it be a new beginning? Or our demise. No one can tell us that. Time will run its due course and show us the true meaning of our deed.
in the distant past, what was once a single world was cleft in twain. Plus and minus, on the surface they were identical. These two worlds of opposing nature knew nothing of each other as they wended their way towards their own respective futures. However, the worlds yearned for each other. Against the solitude of existence, they strove to reunite. Though it would spell certain destruction, should the two worlds intersect, they would cancel each other out and cease to be, leaving only light. Light, a shining beacon in the darkness, the last common language left to us. Though we inhabited separate worlds, the medium of light allowed us to communicate for the very first time. And so we sought for a way to prevent total oblivion. We pooled our knowledge and through time gave birth to a single point of hope. Origin. An arc containing all the world's data recorded in words of light, carrying hope into the future. Origin was a system we constructed to reboot the world's states. And then, time was upon us. The reboot process failed to initiate. Instead, in that instant, the worlds became still. By the will of Mobius. So it's their fault. And at the heart of it was their ringleader, Zed. You could say Zed embodies this frozen world. But what does that achieve? Freezing everything. Not a thing. He didn't need to do anything after that. Only to keep everything in its place in stasis and create an eternity to abide within. As was their wish. He made our lives their sustenance. Precisely so. In order to gain control of Origin, Zed captured the Kavesi Queen. To what end? To access the memories in Origin. To bend them to his will. He needed a key held only by its creators. A key? A heart might be more fitting. Zed used the key held by the Queen of Kevis and seized Origin in its entirety. Controlling Origin means controlling the world. And having shackled it, he can bend it to his will. Life and death are his playthings. Life and... death. No one, not even M knew the origins of this world. So I guess you have another key. Yes, it's in my possession. With its help, I was able to create the Ouroboros Stones. Though most of the power is with Zed, I have been able to resist him to a small extent. It's a cogwheel? one of the gears from Origin. Through a process of catalysis between the Origin substrate and the core in my chest, I can generate the stones. And thanks to that, we became Ouroboros. Yes, but not completely. Huh? Remember, have you not succumbed to Mobius's power before? As I've said before, Zed commands the world's very fabric. Unfortunately, my own powers are sorely limited. And yet, you too can break Zed's fetters, as you've shown, smashing through the rules he established. With your Ouroboros powers and the Sword of the End, both. 
The sword of the end. The sword you hold. It is a byproduct of resonance between the Kvesi Queen's heart and origin. Does that mean it's like an Ouroboros stone? The Ouroboros stones and the sword, they're mere gimmicks. The crux of them lies with you. You see, there are keys inside of you too. Inside of us? Keys? Finally, my efforts were rewarded. I'm glad to meet with all of you who embody hope. Majesty, what is it that we must do? Right. Infiltrate Origin, and free it and the Kvesi Queen from Zed. From the hands of Mobius once and for all. If we do free it, will we get to change the world? It's so cruel and senseless. Can we undo that? Your Majesty, if you desire to have a future before you... I need to know. Zed and Mobius, must they be our enemy? Noah, now that is something for you to decide. After confronting them and discerning for yourselves what they truly are. Right. Come this way. Good to add more names. It's good to keep a record 